This video will focus on configuring the General Ledger desktop. This is done in Configure, List Configuration, and General Ledger. We'll cover all three menus for Rules, Program Codes, and Account Types. Let's start with the Rules screen. The first rule is to designate the fiscal year start month. The default is January, but you can adjust this accordingly. The next journal number field will automatically update based on the last journal number used. You can manually adjust the number if necessary, but it is not recommended. The close book as of date field allows you to specify the date that your books have been reconciled up to and therefore no additional activity can be posted to the general ledger prior to that date. This effectively allows you to close your books from month to month and prevent any entries once a month has been closed. The last entry number of days field allows you to control how far back in your general ledger activity you can search in the respective desktop search grid. A shorter number of days, anything two years or less, will warrant better system performance. Lastly, the posting recognition method has the default set to invoice date for sales posting and check date for payroll posting. You may choose to change the posting methods to service date or pay period start date. However, it is not recommended as these often create more detail and longer reports than what is typically needed. Now let's take a look at the program code screen. Program codes provide a way of parsing out services by program for reporting purposes, not only for financial reporting to understand how a set of services are performing for the organization, but also to isolate in any billing reporting. With program codes, individual services can be linked according to the program for accurate cost reporting. Once the program code is set up here, it is then assigned to the services in the billing section in the services desktop. The final part of the general ledger list configuration is account types. Each database is defaulted to the account types of asset, liability, revenue, expense, equity, and retained earnings. It is not recommended to add any additional GL account types, but you may choose to do so if absolutely required. For any questions about this setup, contact support by going to Options, Support, and Contact Support.